Yo, what's up? So, I'm just gonna be showing off a program I made that lets you recolor texture packs for any version of the game. And it works for mobiles too, because I have a Discord bot that can do it as well. So first what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna join my Discord server, discord.gg slash swim. And you wanna head down to the port bot channel. So, what you wanna do first is just like, get a hex color that you want. Percent sign, recolor, hex color. And then, it can be media fire pvp rp direct file upload whatever the bot is going to take our file and it's just going to recolor it so all right there's our recolor we're going to download it all right let's open it all right we got it imported yeah as you can see this was the original one this is the recolored one as you can see it's been recolored to red so yeah, now we're back on, and we have the recolored version of the pack. So yeah, it recolored the sky, it recolored the armor, the sword, it, it, it recolors pretty much all the main things you're gonna care about. So yeah, that's basically how you can recolor packs if you're a mobile player or if you don't feel like downloading the software. So now I'm gonna show you the actual software, which lets you do a lot more customization-wise. So to download the Auto Recolor Tool application, you have to go to this GitHub page, which has all the source code and some more documentation on it and you can read the code, whatever. But anyways, you just wanna to go to the releases tab and this is where it'll be. So I'm gonna copy this link actually and just go into a virtual machine and download it on a machine that doesn't have it yet. It'll probably say not commonly downloaded since it's a exe or whatever. Yeah, just find it. So this is, what it, this is what it looks like. It's got a little nice pixel art icon. So you can just double click to run it. It's probably going to say it's unknown publisher, just run anyway. It says, oh, we need Java, press OK. It's going to download Java, as you can see, just let it download. So just install JDK 17, which is just the Java version 17, which is what this program uses. So just run it. It'll probably ask for administrator, just it's Java, just let it do it. Press next, next, let it do its thing. close and then now you can run the auto recolor tool so cool so now I'm gonna go back to my machine where I have it all configured and everything so just open it and we have a plethora of options so the first thing you want to do is I recommend keeping this checked if you're editing texture packs so what this does is just drag and drop loads and everything or slower pcs take longer to load bigger packs take longer to load we now have the pack loaded in and on these little side tabs is the folders now we can choose a color by clicking this current color button on startup it'll just be a random color so let's there's also a bunch of different options like hsl rgb cmyk just all the different color so let's do a pink there's two different algorithms. There's hue shift and tint. Hue shift is going to do like 99% of the work you want. Tint is kind of just a brute force. So like just to demonstrate the difference, uh, this is what a, a hue shifted diamond sword looks like. And then this is what a tinted diamond sword looks like. See how it's, it's kind of a brute force, you know, like it just puts over a layer of pink over it where this actually goes in and puts in like the actual shifted values on the pixel data. So anyways, you can kind of just click through, recolor what you want, very easy. I did my best to make it user friendly. You can click on this to see it in an enlarged view. This is kind of repetitive, you know, to have to click through everything. So you can go into settings and you can load configs so first I'm actually going to have you change the export path. So basically the export path is when, you, when we're done with all this and we want to build our pack so we can use it, we want to have that set. So basically clicking change export path opens up this file explorer thing and then you can just select. So I already have a folder called recolors so I'm just going to press open, change export folder, nice. So now whenever we build a pack and it, it's going to go over to here now. Next thing we want to do is we want to add a new config because this is the automation part of the software. So when you press view configs, it opens this folder in our app data. 
So basically a config is literally just a text file where it's all the names of the things we want to recolor. Really easy, just put in whatever you want. This default.txt is already generated. Like the program itself made this. And then I made this on my own just for, just cause why not. And don't worry about the export dong dot config. This is just what saves where your export path is. It's just the data file, just let it be. So anyways, just make whatever configs you want. And once you've done that, you can apply a config, clicking apply config, and then you can just select what configs you want. So we'll just click default cube map and we'll apply it. And that'll, I don't know if you caught that, but basically what it did is it ran through all of the images that have that name and it recolored it with the current algorithm we have selected. So that's just a really easy way to automate this. So yeah, this is a really powerful tool for just automatically um, recoloring things. It doesn't even have to be Minecraft packs. But now that we're done recoloring this pack, we can press build pack and we can give it a name. We can press export and then it'll do its thing. And this will actually update the manifest too. So it'll handle all the new UIDs and all that, including the name we gave it. So it'll say recolored and then it's the path it recolored to. Open it, recolor, and let's drop it in. Okay, so now that we have it, let's go and equip it. See, it's pink. Just deactivate the old one. All right, as you can see, everything is recolored to pink. So yeah, that's how you can recolor pretty much anything in the game. Thanks for watching, subscribe or something. I spent a few months on this project. It wasn't a ton of code. It was really just making sure that I could get the user experience to as simple and just, I don't know, just as good as I could. So that's why it took a while. I've been busy with real life stuff, but yeah, thanks for watching. See ya.